And now, it's time for another Dice Tower review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. I'm Melody, and this is my dad, and we're going to talk about UGTEC. All right, UGTEC, a game that lets you legally hit someone else with the club and get away with it. So, anyhow, uh, this game is a, a party game, which is, was called Architect also, and it's a game that's team against team. It's a really hard game to explain, it's, but it's an easy game to kind of show how it works. We'll show you. <laughs> Tech is for players to build an object that's shown on a card. Each the, the players are going to be split up into teams, so you need at least four players to play the game. One person is going to be the UG Tech. That person gets a club. Okay, it's a soft club that doesn't hurt that bad. The rest of the team will split up the things amongst themselves and they have to build. So for example, the UG Tech will look at a card that only he or she can see. And in this case, they want the players to do this. Or perhaps they want the players to do this. Okay, well, how would I tell players to do that? I could say, well, folks, first you take the yellow block and put it next to the red block and the green block and make them stand up, etc. But you can't actually say that you have to do it in UGTEC language. Let me show you. First, there's a, the instance of what color piece. So when you want people to do a color piece, you have to do different actions. For example, if you want them to do the red piece, you put your hands together above your head. If you want them to do the blue piece, you put them on your highs, on your thighs, sorry. Your, if you want them to do the yellow piece, you tilt your head sideways. If you want them to do the green piece, you swing your hips. If you want them to do the white piece, you stomp your feet. If you want them to do the gray piece, you shrug your shoulders. Then what do you want them to do with the piece? So for example, if you want them to take a piece, you would say, you gungu. You gungu. So if you wanted them to take the red piece, you put your hands above your head and say, you gungu. You gungu. That means take the red piece. If you wanted them to put the white piece to the left, you would have to say, kagingu, and stomp your feet at the same time. Kagingu. Okay, now this is all well and good, and you're trying to get the other person to do it, and each person has a board that you're able to look at that will tell you what all these things mean. However, you may be dealing with a knucklehead or someone who doesn't know how to follow instructions. So let's say, for example, that one person is telling the other person to put the red piece on the yellow thing, which means they put their hands above their head, and they would say, Kanguku. Kanguku. Now, if that person does it correctly, then to help them realize that they've done it correctly, you hit them on the head once. Now, depending on how, how nice you are, you hit them on the head hard or soft, I guess, but you probably should do it softly. Do we agree on that? No. Soft or hard? Hard. <laughs> All right, fine. However, let's say she wanted her to put the red piece uh, next to the yellow thing, and so she says, um, uh, Kagingu and puts her hands above her head. Kagingu. But instead she does it with the white piece. Now, to show the person that they're doing the wrong thing, you hit them on the head twice. All right. However, sometimes you may say the wrong thing. Let's say Melody wanted her to move the blue piece, so, so she stomps her feet and says, Akungu. Akungu. But that's the wrong thing to say, so she quickly corrects it by hitting herself in the head, which shows Holly uh, how to do it. And that's how you play the game. You keep doing it until one team gets it right and then that team will get a point versus the other team. The game comes with two inflatable clubs and lots of extra pieces. Now this game comes with these clubs which will make people enjoy it I suppose. One of mine's gone, none of your business why. Uh, but the game is a party game, most definitely, and it's really, really funny to watch. <laughs> okay, it is one of the best, if I was picking party games that are most fun to watch and not be part of, this is number one. Uh, kids get a kick out of hitting each other in the head, but it's really hard to be 
the UG tech. Because you're sitting there going, okay, red piece needs to go to the left, or magwa, or whatever you say, and trying to get the person to do that. And it's hard because they're going, okay, left. Does that mean move it to the left? Does that mean lean it left? And there can be a lot of back and forth, a lot of hitting, and you're sitting there trying to get it right, kind of like, don't hit me. Even though hitting doesn't really hurt, you're still thinking about it the whole time. What do you think about the game? Um, I thought it was a lot of fun to hit people on the head. Oh, of course. But um, it was confusing. Like, we, my group took forever to do because just people got so confused with saying the words, they ended up saying the wrong words. Some people are going to be incredibly better at being the UG tech than others. It's yeah. kind of like Pictionary. Some people can draw well. Some people can give directions well. So did you like it? It was fun. I like building. I thought the building part was a little more fun um, because it was actually a little easier. Okay. I actually like being the UG tech, telling people what to do. Kind of like real life. But anyhow, um, it's a party game that is a blast, that everyone has a really good time, and I would recommend it for groups, but you have to realize what you're getting into. You have to be able to see what we just watched, and that some people will love that, and others are going to really dislike it. This is not a party game for everyone. It's funny, but it works best when there's an audience for you. If you have four people together, not nearly as fun as a lot of other party games. So I find it amusing, especially to watch, um, but at the same time, it's just this very specific thing to give instructions in an oblique fashion so that other people can get them. So I give this one a, I like it, but I don't love it type party game. And you? The same because of the confusing part. All right. And that is Ugg Tech. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Boom.